Hello people, my name is Nirav Joshi and we are going to conduct the lectures on the microprocessor and microcontroller. So you need to understand one particular thing that what is microprocessor and what is microcontroller because they are really similar kind of word yet they are different. When we will be talking about the microprocessor at that time you need to understand one phenomena that your microprocessor is the combination of the CPU as well as there are memory as well as there are input output devices. But when we are talking about the microcontroller, it will, same, it will still have the same components. But here, all the components will be there on a single chip. That is your microcontroller, right? So why is this kind of difference is there? Because when you see the appliances, most of the appliances, if you take the microwave oven, right? It does not have so much space to have the memory, to have the CPU, to have the input output devices. If you take the simple remote, your AC remote, it will also not have that much space that it can have the memory, it can have the CPU and it can have the input output devices, right? So, people thought that we should have such a thing that is going to be there on a single chip, on a single small chip and that is where your microcontroller comes into the picture. So, if you see the appliances which does not have that much space, which does not have so much space to incorporate the memory, incorporate the CPU, incorporate the uh, IO devices, that particular appliances is running on the microcontroller. So this is the basic difference between the microprocessor and microcontroller. So when you are going to use your microprocessor, so microprocessor is something that requires a space. It requires a space for CPU, it requires space for memory, it requires the space for the input output device. The perfect example for where for where you are going to use the microprocessor is your personal computers. Like if you see the desktop, it has the particular CPU. In the CPU there is RAM, there is ROM, there is input output devices such as your keyboard, such as your monitor. The whole combination is the microprocessor. The appliances that requires, that is having a good space, that will have the microprocessor. This is the simple thing. Apart from that, there are so many differences between the microprocessor and microcontroller but this is the basic difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. I hope with this video you are able to understand the basic difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Thank you for watching this video and keep supporting the channel for the upcoming short videos.